In today's little farm story, it's a bittersweet day as two of the lambs are off to their new homes. Keep watching to see the lambs as they grow up to this point of being ready to go off on their own. Hello and welcome to Little Farm Stories. It's May 13th and I'm Lisa at Under the Feather Farm. Goodbye, lambs. Nora and Millie were picked up today and are off to their new home, just a ferry ride away. They are going to a lovely place with horses and chickens and some more baby doll sheep too, so they will be right at home. It's so much easier saying goodbye because their new family is so excited and I know they're going to be really well cared for at their new home. I thought it would be fun to take a look at them as they grew up here. Today was a very wet day. It rained, and then it poured. When Michelle came with her daughter and mother to pick up the lambs, the ground was so saturated I could see a wave of water squishing out ahead of the truck tires as she backed up to the barn. I had left all the baby doll mums and lambs inside, and they got to hang out with Jane and Sunshine Six Lambs. It was quite a sight to see them all in there. I'm so happy I left them all inside, because there is nothing worse than working with wet sheep. They're like sponges when they've been in the rain, and if they rub past you, your pants end up soaking wet. We had to carry Millie and Nora to the truck, so it was very nice that they were dry. Millie and Nora were a little mystified by their new space in the back of the truck under the canopy, but as soon as Millie saw the grain, she was quite happy with her new digs. Nora, always a little more cautious, looked around a bit longer, but then she realized she was missing out and joined Millie. It's one of the things I love about the baby dolls. They're so easygoing and super easy to train because they'll do almost anything for food. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little farm story as Millie and Nora go on to their new life. Be sure to come back tomorrow to see the resident ravens who call my farm part of their home. <laughs>